Webley's a very manoeuvrable machine. Good steering lock. Of course you'd expect it on the top of the machine, I suppose. Thinking about it, apart from sitting on a tiger and riding, well I'll be honest, a so-called mate's I think it was a Suzuki TS250 about 1977. That's probably about the nearest thing to this I've ridden and this is far more comfortable. Now I've got to try and find my way to Chadwick End. We're not using motorways of course. I could use the uh, sat nav thingy on my phone but I don't like using sat nav. Or prat nav as I call it. I mean I am a prat most of the time but... Uh... <laughs> oh beautiful. Sorry I'm distracted. Beautiful series 2A, I think it is, behind. Been jacked up somewhat, I think. What have we got here? Nice, beautiful aerial. Somebody doesn't like Webley. Probably just scared her off motorbikes for the whole of her life. <laughs> I did that with Smelly the first trip out down to the factory straight from the dealer last year. A very intrigued young chap. So I thought, oh, I'll give him a pip on the horn. Twin horns on Smelly. Oh, yeah, I think he was eating tea by the time I left. <laughs> Sorry. I must say, this uh, standard exhaust probably weighs about 15 tonne. Slightly exaggerated there. It's not a bad sound, really. And if I'm going to do, well, I will do eventually, some green roading. We're going to call it green roading now, people, not laning. But tell these nimbies and aunties that it's a road. And as long as we do them and ride them carefully and take due care and attention, one of which I suppose is not being too loud. So, well, I've got no choice of sticking with it, I suppose, because it's under warranty. So, but now it's not something I'm in that desperate need to change now I've heard one. But a guesswork now. I used to come down this way doing photography of the uh, Shakespeare Express in my Morris Minor, my blue Morris Minor. Now that's going back the best part of 20 years ago. Shakespeare Express is a steam train. It runs from and to Stratford from, I don't know it's Moore Street or New, uh, Snow Hill now, or to one or the other. Thanks mate. Cheers. Cheers a lot. I thought this bus was a Sentinel steam wagon coming with the sun shining off. That would have been great. Sentinel steam wagon. I just don't have the room for one summer. <laughs> You'll be fed up with these microphone yackings. The trouble is everybody does everything on YouTube so it's very difficult to be different these days. Not that I do it for money, just another slant to the hobbies. And to get you lot out there to get out there. Yes, you can go to Morocco. Yes, you can drive from London to Singapore. Well, you could do back in 1955. Just been watching that again and reading the book. Excellent, most excellent. But the Lake District, Yorkshire, Wales, Welsh marshes, Cotswolds, as we recently found out, Rutlands, Kent, Norfolk, Suffolk, Northumberland, all great places to go and that is just a handful of them. I can tell you already that what um, 25 miles I've done, roughly. Already the engine's freeing up a little bit. Because we didn't like top, that's fifth, at say 37, you know, the running in maximum speed. But now, no problem at all. On the flat anyway. Take it a beauty. I do have a fetish, I'll have a couple of them actually. If you look at the bottom of the clocks, to the left and right, you'll notice the bottom fixings for the screen. And I notice there's another hole, which might be 
might just be what I'm after to flick some of the wind a little bit further up. Although it's not bad, it's not buffeting me, but it is a bit of a breezy day, so I think we'll wait till I calm down and see what it's like then. Oh no, here's a place. Look at that, Umberslade Business Centre. If you're into your British bikes, Umberslade, Umberslade Hall. Get my teeth in. BSA's. Oh, I don't know if it was like their design offices, but uh, a lot of money thrown at that. Fairly early days of computers and one of the nails in the coffins of the British bike industry, as was. Not the only nail by any means. We're into Foley Hull. Yeah, pop into Land Rover. Give them a few F's and B's. I know it's early days, but uh, Webley's gearbox is far more. I don't know if they solid in the changes. Um, more positive on the stop, if you like, than uh, smelly. Nice war memorial there. Some money's worth in that car park. Why bother? We could have one of these for four grand and a bit. Just had a thought what I was told earlier, folks. Continental GT hydraulic tappets. These aren't. These are old school. Do stop me if I've said that before, folks. I do do this ad hoc. But yeah, these are normal adjustable tappets. Presumably, spanner and feeler gauge, or screwdriver feeler gauge, somewhat of that ilk. Now you think, that's old fashioned, and it is very old fashioned. I mean, the Escort Mark III that I had, that had hydraulic tappets, and that was 1980. They also told me this morning that the new twins, looking at the engine cutaways, will also be normal, shall we say, manual adjustment to the tappets. Which may be, perhaps, because of the broken valves on some of the, certainly the GTs. Not that many, it's a, it is, has been heard of. It's more than one or two, we take exactly loads. Mine being one, of course. Shorted under warranty quite well, actually, very well, really. So maybe that's a bit of a pointer to what the changes are about. Oh, I've got something right today. Chad weekend. <laughs> today, dropped the old camera, the old Canon. That looks like that's scrap. Followed me, me now so far, and that's good. The uh, second thing that went wrong, though that wasn't me, I may be telling you about in the reasonably near future. But we'll see what happens over the next... Well, let's be even more generous than I have been already. Next week. You might be confused by that. But uh, all may become clear. In the near future. But let's just say... I have been somewhat messed around. And is why... I'm on this bike from somewhere else. Half a mile! Series 3. Original size wheels, too. Temple Balls, or some nice names around these parts of the, uh, well, West Midlands, just about. Warwickshire, I suppose, by now. Oh, that reminds me. How did Worcestershire get on today? First game of the season. And it wasn't going well. Ah, Hitchcocks, there we are. Not the best place to turn around in the world, but not too bad. <laughs> yeah. Two things I've got to remember when I get back on Smelly or Thunderbird 4. 
Firstly, the brakes. Don't throw myself over the handlebars. Secondly, the turning circle. Especially with Thunderbird 4. I can see a hair Milan. I wonder if that's the one they've been doing their little bits and bobs for. Hitchcocks. Pratt now shouting at me. Oh, they got some beauties. They got some beauties.